Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome to all. In this video, we will learn about field status variant in SAP FI. But before we start, if you are not yet subscribed to our My Support Solutions channel, then click on the subscribe button and also don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will get latest updates after every new video upload. This is totally free. Share and like this video. Share the knowledge. Sharing is caring. Also. Go through our playlist of SAP MM tutorials to get knowledge regarding different concept of SAP MM. Now let us start. Field status variant is used to define the fields for the users for input of business transactions like cost center, profit center, etc. We can use field status variant to assign same set of properties to more than one object. Client's requirement of the input level is different for different business transactions. We can copy already pre-configured screen outlays and change the variant name as per requirements. We will see some practicals about this. First of all, I will show you the about the uh, use of this uh, field status variant. Uh, FS00, we will, uh, FS00 is a transaction code uh, to create, change or display general ledger. So right now uh, we are in FS00 transaction code and I will show you uh, uh, the use of this uh, just a minute these are all the general ledger account under company code 1000 you can give your own company code at the time of practice so this is a general ledger. This is a GL account uh, number 43,000 under company code 1000. This general ledger is for investments. Okay. Now I will click on this create bank interest. So here there is a field status group. Field status group. Before to this, I will show you something. Uh, under field status variant we can define we have to define actually field status group under field status variant okay and at the time of creating general ledger we have to give our field status group over here the required field status group over here in this general ledger see here under uh, create bank interest we are given G001 as a, our field status group. Okay. Now, if I double click on this, see uh, what what is the use of this field status group? Why uh, why we give this uh, field status group at the time of creating this GL? Because uh, according to uh, field status group respective fields will be displayed as mandatory or surplus or optional when postings are made to that particular GL account. So see we will uh, double click on this. See this is a general data and under field status variant this is a field status group. So I will double click on general data. See these fields uh, some fields here are surplus. So some fields are optional. This is a default uh, status of the respective fields. Okay, and now we are in the display mode of FS00. Okay, so see uh, this text field is optional. So at the time of creating, at the time of postings are made to this particular GL account the text field will be displayed as optional entry 
to the end user this is the use of this field status group okay and what is the then what is the difference between this field status variant see field status variant and field status group what is the difference between both of these so uh, field status variant under field status variant see uh, i already told you here yes under field status variant we will define field status group i will show you in a minute uh, now field status group is maintained in gl general jar account okay and field status variant is at client level that means we can assign our multiple company codes more than one company code to this field status variant okay suppose i will show you uh, i will give you an example suppose we have abc group company and we have two subsidiaries companies of uh, abc group abc pharma and uh, abc retail for example okay then these are our two company codes and this is our group company so this is a client company so we can assign our uh, field status variant our one field status variant to both of these group companies both of this company code so we can say as a field status group of uh, field status variant as a client level so see so then what is the meaning of this surplus field required entry and optional entry surplus field means um, if any field is surplus here invoice reference field is surplus then it will not appear for end user screen or end user entry okay at the time of postings then optional entry uh, optional entry will appear at the screen for the end user but data input is optional means whether to enter a data into the that uh, field or not is optional it depends on the end user for for example this is text field is optional entry over here so whether a uh, entry has to made into that field or not it depends on the end user okay so this is called as a optional entry and require entry means mandatory entry the system will prompt to enter the data that is entry in this field is mandatory okay this is the meaning of this surplus require entry and optional entry so in short we have to give field status group at the time of creating general ledger account field status group will decide or uh, according to this field status group the respective fields will be displayed as mandatory or surprise or optional when postings are made to that particular gl account in this case the gl account is 43000 this gl is for investment okay now i will show you something the how to yes we'll use the transaction code uh, obc4 pc4 i will press enter now oh, the screen is open in other session yes so here give obc4 transaction code press enter now in this transaction code see these are the field status variant 0001 is a standard field status variant what we have seen is that we can assign our field status variant to more than one company code okay and 
फ्री स्टेटस ग्रुप आर अंडर फ्री स्टेटस वेरियंट ओके सो दिस इज ट्रिपल जीरो वन फ्री स्टेटस वेरियंट इज अ स्टैंडर्ड फील फील स्टेटस वेरियंट डिफाइन इन द सिस्टम सो अंडर दिस फील स्टेटस वेरियंट आई विल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सिलेक्ट दिस लाइन एंड नाउ क्लिक ऑन फील स्टेटस ग्रुप बिकॉज अंडर फील स्टेटस वेरियंट देर इज फील स्टेटस ग्रुप सो सिलेक्ट द लाइन ऑफ फील स्टेटस वेरियंट डबल क्लिक ऑन फील स्टेटस ग्रुप टू सी देर आर टोटल सी दिस इज अ फील स्टेटस वेरियंट ओके एंड देर आर टोटल फोर्टी वन एंट्रीज फोर्टी वन एंट्रीज अंडर दिस फील स्टेटस वेरियंट there are to total 41 entries of field status group under this field status variant okay so see this is a field status group g001 and at the time of uh, see when we will uh, again in fs00 screen of our display general ledger see here g001 at the time of creating this general ledger okay uh we have given field status group as g001 actually this is uh, this gl is in company code 1000 and this is a standard record actually so in this field status group is mentioned as g001 okay so see we are again in obc4 t code so now this under this field status variant this is a field status group g001 if we enter i will double click on this then see these are sub groups okay i will double click on general data see from here we can decide which field we want to uh, make a surprise field or a required field or optional field okay this is a by default settings okay are you getting my point and based on this field status group see now if we want to create our own field status group okay then what to do okay so how to create a field status group uh, sorry how to create a field status variant first we will create our field status variant now we will not create our new field status variant rather we will copy field status variant for from which is already defined into the system okay so triple zero one is a standard field status variant we will select the line and click on the copy as button here is a button of copy as okay we will cut this line and up to maximum four numbers are allowed field give description status variant for company code 201 it is 2018 okay uh field status variant for 2018 i'll press enter see now the message is appearing as whether to copy all entry or only copy entry so click on the copy all so that all the field status group under this field status variant will also get copied we have seen that under this uh, 0001 field status variant there were total 41 groups so i will click on the copy all button so number of dependent entries copied 41 i will continue this and first of all i will i will uh, save the record 
कंटिन्यू सी सो वी हैव कॉपीड अवर फील्ड स्टेटस वेरिएंट फ्रॉम ट्रिपल जीरो वन ट्रिपल जीरो वन इज अ स्टैंडर्ड फील्ड स्टेटस वेरिएंट एंड आई विल सिलेक्ट एंड आई विल डबल क्लिक ऑन फील्ड स्टेटस ग्रुप टू चेक वेदर ऑल द फील्ड स्टेटस ग्रुप आर प्रॉपरली कॉपीड और नॉट येस देर आर टोटल फोर्टी वन एंट्रीज ओके देर आर टोटल फोर्टी वन एंट्रीज अंडर दिस फील्ड स्टेटस वेरियंट ओके नाउ यस सो वी हैव क्रिएट अवर फील स्टेटस वेरियंट वी हैव यूज द टी कोड ऑफ ओ बी सी फोर सो दिस इज द यूज ऑफ फील्ड फील्ड स्टेटस वेरियंट फील्ड स्टेटस ग्रुप ओके सी इन शॉर्ट द फील्ड स्टेटस वेरियंट विल डिसाइड दैट respective fields will be displayed as mandatory or surplus or optional when postings are made to that particular general ledger account okay so this is the use of a uh, field status variant and uh, field status group so now uh, we will assign the field status variant to company code OBC phi is a transaction code to assign field status variant to company code i will click on position button to find the record we'll give company code our company code is 2018 press enter and in the column of field status variant this column of field status variant find and we have create a field status variant as 2018 so double click oh sorry so select and save the record so we have assign our field status variant to our company code 2018 we can assign our field status variant to more than one of our company code so we can say our field status variant is at client level okay so that's the end of this video if you have any suggestions or uh, doubts uh, please feel free to comment and uh, again if you are not yet subscribed to our uh, my support solutions youtube channel then please click on the subscribe button and also don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will get the latest updates after every new video upload this is totally free and uh, okay then keep in touch and bye bye